Every day, you hear about carbon footprint. This is a well-known term, but do you actually know what it means? Well, let me break it down for you. And don't worry, this one is on the house. Calculating your carbon footprint as a company means precisely evaluating all your greenhouse gas emissions, whether they're direct or indirect. To do this, you must consider three scopes, three different types of emissions. Don't leave, it's super easy to understand. So let's start with scope one. This includes all emissions generated directly by the company's infrastructures and activities. For example, NG operates power plants that burn fuel, such as gas, and thus emit CO2. In fact, this made up 94% of NG Scope 1's emissions in 2022. Now, Scope 2. This concerns the energy the company consumes for its own use. For example, the lighting and heating of offices, the electricity required to run printers, and of course, coffee machines. For NG, this represents a very small portion of the total footprint. Scope 3. Well, I have to say, this one is a bit complex. Scope 3 consists of indirect emissions generated both upstream and downstream of the company. In other words, by its suppliers and customers. But how do we know about their emissions? Let's start with the upstream. This requires getting information from suppliers. Take, for example, the electricity that NG buys on the wholesale market to resell to its customers. Producing this electricity has generated carbon emissions and they must be accounted for. That's the scope three. Another example of upstream emissions is when NG buys turbines for a wind farm. Well, obviously, producing these turbines is not carbon free. Again, scope three. One more example, just because I'm feeling generous. When I take the metro to go to work, the commuting emits carbon. Guess what? Scope three. And on the customer side, one must collect or at least estimate the emissions of its clients. When a residential customer uses NG natural gas for heating, the emissions from that heating are part of NG Scope 3. It's the same for a business customer that runs its plants with gas. Now that you understand what the carbon footprint is, bear in mind the most ambitious companies are those committed to all three scopes, including the emissions of their customers. And NG is one of them. This commitment is hard, as it requires companies to constantly reinvent themselves, and this is the key challenge of green business.